what a spectacular finish for David Brabham as they celebrate their win in P2, the Tequila Patron High Crop Racing Acura. Wow, what a move there at the end of the race. Tell me about those last couple laps. Kevin, two vehicles here at BMW are hard to miss, and they're both concepts headed to production. Meet the i3 and the i8, two cars that BMW says will help redefine the term premium to include sustainability. With the introduction of the all-new ISF, Lexus is stepping up their presence in the sports sedan market in a big way. The rain is coming down, and even though a lot of this field is in good shape, there are definitely parts, much like my tennis shoes, that are saturated. He's really trying to embrace being mm -hmm. a role model. He's not someone that's saying he didn't want to be in that position. He's trying to embrace uh -huh. it. And after the first the Olympics four years ago, he came home, got a DUI at age Thank 19, you. had to apologize for that. Now, same thing. I mean, he's just trying to live the rock star life, which is fine, but be a little smarter about it. SEMA is all about thinking outside of the box. That's why GM hired a couple guys known for their work on two wheels to customize their latest Chevy truck. I'm downstairs as part of the Eco Experience. Now this is the second year they've had this Eco Experience here at Kobo and it's only gotten bigger. No rest for the weary straight off her impressive run at Wimbledon. Serena was back at it here in World Team Tennis for your third season. Serena, what is it about this league that makes you want to be a part of it? Marty, I'm with one of Championship Off-Road Racing's most accomplished veterans in Scott Taylor and one of the sports newcomers in Jeremy McGrath. Scott, I'll start with you. You've always thrived in these Pro 4, Pro 2 battles. How important is it for you to be a part of that cup race? This is the Transit Connect, and voters clearly like the fact that it can hold a lot of people, a lot of stuff, or both, and still fit in your garage. The manufacturers have really gravitated toward this GT2 class, where seven different car marks are represented. But for now, Ferrari, Porsche, and BMW are at the top of the class. Jamie Mello, the 2007 champion, put his Reese Ferrari on the pole. And the new kids on the block, the Ray Hall Letterman BMWs, have really added a lot of pressure to this field. How much? Will Patrick Long, the former class champion, put his flying lizard Porsche into the tires looking for that extra bit during qualifying? Now, that car was one of the favorites, but it suffered some cosmetic damage, and they had to replace the right rear suspension as a precautionary measure. They're going to have some ground to make up as they start fifth. Got to look at the great college football rivalries. Then sure. you got to look at sure. Yankees Red Sox, which sure. is yeah. undeniable. You got Lakers Celtics. Yeah. I mean, now that that's been resurrected, I mean, there's a lot of great a lot rivalries. Of good ones. And I've uh, heard some interviews with you even on the Jim Rome show not too long ago. And you're always coming back to your high school days and the coaching staff. Now, this team just pumps out all kinds of, of great athletes. What is it about this program and Coach Johnson that you think Mission Viejo is a, a constant contender? Now, the laser radars will recognize if an object jumps in front of the vehicle and the car will automatically brake or veer around the object if there's a safe direction. If a collision occurs, the hood will slide up and these external airbags will deploy. Meanwhile, the car communication antenna will automatically contact emergency services.